Hello! Oh, and greetings from the Cho! Bottle throttle, everybody. Man, vlogging is actually harder than I thought. Originally, I just thought I would think of an idea and I would just naturally talk about it and it would just come to me as soon as I turn on the camera. It'd just come to me and it'd be like, I'd just go on and that would be my video. But it's like a lot of ideas I have I don't want to talk about them too early because I only get like 20 views per video. There's some things I want to talk about, but I want to wait until there's like more people who will watch them. But then what do I think of to get to that point where more people will watch them? That's the thing. That's the issue, which is the problem is it's always views, views, views. It comes down to views. Who's going to watch it? Who would watch it? I watch these videos and I'm like, I don't know if I would watch this. I don't know if I just saw it on the sidebar and click on it. I don't know if I'd do that. I guess it's not super hard to think of ideas as of talking about that for a certain amount of time. There's this one YouTuber I watch. His name is Joey Graceffa. He does daily vlogs, which that's... Um, <laughs> I'll stick with once a week for now. Okay? You can calm down. And I watched one video of his, and he said that it's really hard to think of ideas and then... Some days you just don't feel like doing a video, and sometimes I really don't feel like filming a video. That's why I haven't filmed one until here, sitting here, with all this crap in the background. You see the freaking cans and bottles right there. A towel, I think, on there, sewing machine. Coke and Monster. I really thought I would be better at this vlogging, because usually when I'm alone, and I'm just sitting around, and I'm just... I'll start to talk to myself, pretend like someone's watching, and I'll just go on and on for like a long time, like 15, 20 minutes, I'll go on and on. But that's just not happening to me right now. A lot of times I go off topic, and then I start talking about some random thing that doesn't have anything to do with my original topic. A lot of times when I'm in the shower, I'll do this, or I'll like be pacing and doing it, but I can't really... It's kind of weird to have a video about somebody vlogging and then they're pacing up and down the room. So today I wanted to talk about me going to the zoo. I like going to the zoo. You get to see lions and tigers and bears. I sodomized the panda. That's probably what got me kicked out of there. See, it's kind of weird to do this, isn't it? Who'd watch this? Well, besides me. There's one thing I need to do. I really need a better camera than the PS Vita. 0.3 megapixels thing. Which is not a lot, I guess. Worst handheld device camera in like seven years or something. So I kind of made a bad choice of my cameras. But I will get a new one. I need to, like, this weekend. I need it Sunday. I need a new camera. I need a camera. It's not even a new camera. I need a camera. That's what I need. This video's just been me talking about nothing. Like, I haven't been talking about anything. This is a Seinfeld episode. Welcome to the Seinfeld episode of Dom's Vlogs. All my friends call me Dom. Um, I don't know why. My name's Dominic. Nobody called me Dom till, like, September 2010. Then Brandon was like, we were sitting down. Brandon goes, Dominic. Yeah. Dominic's kind of long to say. Okay. Can I call you Dom? Sure. Okay. And from then on, Brandon started calling me Dom. And he got literally all of my friends to call me Dom. All of them. Even friends I knew before. I knew Cameron and Matt, who you will meet, and Darian before I people started calling me Dom and now they call me Dom why people like nicknames I guess they just needed somebody to lead them to the nicknames of Dom a lot of times when I tell people Dom they think Don who names our kid Don I know Uncle Don but who be weird Don I am Don what's a chick they're like, 
the sun dawn. This is rambling. I'm rambling now. This is what I do when I'm pacing. I ramble. A lot. I just want to clarify something. The manga picture of the week doesn't necessarily mean manga. It can also mean anime or anything Japanese related. I don't know why I do it. I don't even watch a lot of anime. I used to read quite a bit of manga, but not really anymore. Um, I kind of got more into grown-up stuff. Like, what they'll do with mangas and animes is they'll have grown-up stuff in there for older people, and then they'll have little kid stuff, like little jokes and just stupid, stupid stuff, I say, for the laughs for little kids. And I really got an really kind of annoyed by the little all the little kid stuff. And I know that's what a lot of people love about it. Like my friends, uh, a lot of my friends love anime, love manga. I like anime and manga. There's some great animes out there. Clannad, Angel Beats, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I used to love all that stuff. Like I said, I got tired of the stupid shit, all the stupid stuff. And it kind of got, it just got to me. And I kind of got out of it. But I will still have my manga slash anime picture of the week. But I will call it my manga picture of the week. Just clarifying. And now we have your manga picture of the week. Some of you may be a little confused by this. But this is from Naruto. And it's Neji just after he defeated some dude with shot spider stuff. And he's talking about how Naruto saved him from the darkness from being evil. So if it wasn't for Naruto, Neji would probably be evil. And we're going to have two pictures this week. But the second one really just explains the first one. So the first one's the manga picture. And the second one helps explain the first manga picture. Well, anyways, guys, it's been great talking to you. Hope you enjoyed my rambling. This is Shasta Markman, signing off.